Hey everybody, Kyle Gothier from GoatFilmReviews.com and the Goat Film Reviews YouTube channel. Uh, we got our last movie haul of the year. It's not as big as uh, the October-December one, but I've got a couple of new acquisitions I wanted to highlight uh, this month and show off. So let me know in the comments section down below, what did you buy in December of this year? Um, maybe you got some Christmas gifts. I still haven't had my like actual Christmas with my family, so it'll probably be a couple of movies that you're going to see in January hop up on here. My family doesn't really buy me movies, though, for Christmas because they just assume I have them. So who knows? But I did have a couple of uh, personal picks, and we're going to start off here with I finally did it. I've been waiting a long time to finally shell out the cache and pick up the James Bond collection on Blu-ray. I had all these films on DVD before, but uh, it's it's a stupid thing, but I wanted to upgrade these when they got cheap enough because I'd already paid for it once. I didn't want to pay for it a bunch more times. Um, and there probably will be, you know what, they're probably gonna do a 4K release next year and then I'm gonna be really screwed, but um, I wanted to get the chance to get this set. This is the first 24, so everything from Dr. No all the way up to Spectre. It does not have no time to die in it. Um, that's okay, because I already have that one. Um, yeah, and it also like took four giant DVD packs and a bunch of other movies and smashed it into one spot, which makes some sh space on my shelf. If you're a physical media hound like I am, space on the shelf is important. I also picked up uh, Fear the Walking Dead Season 6. I have been catching up on the Walking Dead universe over the past couple of uh, months, ever since Christmas, or not Christmas, uh, ever since Halloween. I've been catching up on the Walking Dead films, or series. Uh, I think I fell off of the original series about partway through season seven. And it wasn't because I didn't like the show, I just didn't have cable, I couldn't keep up with it all. And uh, and then Fear, I had watched like the first like couple seasons. And I was like, okay, it's time to get caught up on all these shows. Because um, I really like the world. I've read a bunch of the comic books. I, I really like the show. I don't actually have as many issues with the show as, as a lot of other people do. Uh, also on the subject of, I guess, like slimming down space on my shelf, I can replace a couple of my DVDs with Blu-rays here with this John Hughes a uh, five movie collection that I've added here. So this is Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. She's Having a Baby, which I've never seen. Pretty in Pink, which I have but haven't seen. Uh, and Some Kind of Wonderful, which I haven't seen. So, uh, you know, get to take a couple films off the shelf and I got some more space uh, slimmed up over here. But John Hughes is just a fantastic, like, filmmaker that we we lost way too early. And, and this is another way for me to see a couple more movies of his that I haven't gotten a chance to see. Yeah, it says on here that she's having a baby and some kind of wonderful, this is the first time that they were on Blu-ray was in this set. So, hey, you'll probably see a, an unboxing for this and the, and the, uh, the James Bond set uh, sometime soon just so we can take a look at what's inside here. But it's a cool little pack of movies. Another show that I need to catch up on soon, and that's one of the reasons I bought this, was Dexter. Uh, I picked up Dexter and New Blood. I've got all the seasons, but I've only watched the first, like, two and a half. Um, so I'm behind on that, but maybe 2023 will be the year of, of catching up on Dexter. I know people didn't like the way the show ended the first time, and then they brought it back, and I guess people liked this ending slightly better, but still didn't really like it. So um, that's unfortunate. But, uh, you know, I really like, is it Michael C. Hall? I really like Michael C. Hall from Six Feet Under. I think he's a fantastic actor, and, and I definitely will have to catch up on that. Uh, we also have here another uh, slimming down space upgrading from DVD was the, uh, the Transformers 5 movie collection. Um, I, there's something to like about the Transformers movies as likable trash. Um, I find the first four of them to be pretty entertaining. Again, not great made movies, but if you want me to like eat an edible and, you know, make a pizza and sit around with some friends and watch some garbage happen, there's something like about that. I think the fifth movie is absolute trash. I, I, it's so jarringly bad, The Last Night, which is disappointing because it was supposed to be like this you know, new franchise reboot kind of a way where they had this writer's room who was going to plan out the next 10 years of Transformers movies, and it's terrible. Um, none of these hold a candle to Bumblebee, which I already have on 4K, but uh, yeah, I, there's something to like about the Transformers movies as garbage, because uh, they are, they're not great, and if you don't like them, I get that, I totally do. Um, I kind of like them, you know, to spite themselves. Closing off here, my last acquisition, because um, I just didn't get a chance to see it in theaters, is Clerks 3. Um, my wife and I uh, love the Clerks movies. I grew up with them. I think my favorite in this franchise is still Clerks 2, which means that I, I hope this one doesn't kind of take away from that fantastic finale, because Clerks 2 would have been the end of a series, and it would have been a great end of a series. And then the Jane Silent Bob reboot, which came out, which I, I liked, but it's, it's not... It's not anywhere close to the quality of the other films that uh, Smith has done with these characters. And so I'm hoping Clerks 3 kind of continues to 
like make up for that and kind of end us on a higher note because I don't know if we're going to get another film pa past Clerks 3 for this like mini, mini universe but um, I'm excited to watch it yeah it was pretty cheap at Target actually when it came out so that's why I went out and grabbed it but that was it that was all I got from uh, December of 2022 we're going to close out the year with a slightly less painful uh, um, pocketbook so <laughs> Let me know what you got this month. Uh, let me know if any of the things that I got are, are great or terrible. I'm I'm perfectly fine. You're not gonna you're not gonna upset me by saying you, you hate my picks. Um, look forward to an unboxing video for the James Bond collection because I gotta get my hands on those and start watching them. Um, I might just do mini unboxings for the John Hughes set and Transformers. I don't think there'll be much to talk about with those, but I might just kind of look at them and you know give you the opportunity to see what's inside and you know short little video for that. But look forward to those coming up soon. You can also check out. Uh, Go to reviews.com for my written reviews. I've had so many screeners coming in for this award season that I've been so busy and I can't keep up with it, and I'm sorry, but doing the best I can. Uh, so check out goatformreviews.com for the written reviews. You can find uh, Goat From Reviews on Facebook. You can follow me personally on Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd at Almighty Goatman. You can also check out my show, Kyle and Nick on Film, that I co host with Nick Plotichuk from the St. Paul Film Cast. We have new episodes Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Um, we're starting off 2023 with. with quite a few uh, big tickets from this last year, so uh, go ahead and check those videos out. Those links are all down in the description. You can also find the Minnesota Film Critics Alliance, which I am a part of. That link is down there as well, and we'll see you guys next month.